Now, Kanye West. He's the twat's genius, the Ronnie O'Sullivan of rap. And this week, he's been undergoing what he considers to be something of an enlightenment, a kanye enlightenment, if you will, announcing himself as a free thinker, unafraid to confront the public with new ideas. One of those new ideas was this. You hear about slavery for 400 years? For 400 years? That sounds like a choice. <laughs> that is one of the most influential black men in the world, suggesting that four centuries of slavery was a choice, when really, the clue's in the name, slavery. Coming in a week when Kanye had already expressed his love for Donald Trump, a president who last year found moral equivalence in the causes of white supremacists and their counter-protesters at Charlottesville, reaction was predictably, understandably furious, most notably from other influential people of colour like John Legend and Will I Am. That statement was one of the most ignorant statements that anybody that came from the hood could ever say about their ancestors, that slavery is a choice. What are you talking about? Will I Am there looking increasingly like a sedated koala who has just opened a cafe charging eight quid for crushed avocado on toast. <laughs> All of them agreed that Kanye's views were spectacularly ill-informed, that he came across as an undergraduate who'd seen Fight Club a couple of times and was now talking loudly at a woman in a pub about Nietzsche until she asked the bouncer to kick him up the arse. It all seemed a long way removed from his brave, spontaneous and personal attack on George W. Bush after Hurricane Katrina. George Bush doesn't care about black people. <laughs> the look on Mike Myers' face, uh, you can never get bored of that. Um, it seems comparatively considered, that, doesn't it, and sensible. It's like back then Kanye was your mum's boring new boyfriend, tediously expressing his views on local party politics over Sunday dinner. And now they're married, he's lost his marbles, keeps coming round your house and putting his shoes in your fucking fridge. But Kanye is nothing if not an arch pop-cultural contrarian. Only two years ago, he tweeted that Bill Cosby was innocent of drugging and raping women, even though in 2005, Cosby himself admitted to giving prescription quaaludes to women he wanted to have it off with. Before that, he asked people to consider the feelings of Chris Brown, who had to live with images of the damage he had done to Rihanna's face with his fist being out in the public domain. Right now, if Kanye went on Loose Women to fuck Gloria Honeyford's Labrador. It would only be the seventh or eighth craziest thing he'd ever done. I mean, it certainly wouldn't be half as surprising as when X Factor Judge Louis Walsh did it, that's for sure. That poor fucking Labrador. <laughs> Kanye's views seem so wide of the mark, so out there, so completely and needlessly upsetting to people of colour everywhere, that a bit of you clings to the hope it's a small part of some wider, brilliant performance art piece yet to fully reveal itself, but designed to drag abhorrent views on race out into the sunlight where they will wither and die. But then you look into his eyes and can't help but see a toddler trying to justify having drawn a flower on the kitchen wall using his own turd as a crayon. He knows not what he does. Can a Belen still be a genius? I don't know. What do you think this is, the fucking Today programme? Panel, can yay or can nay? Rants. Can nay. <laughs> <laughs> Elite level dickhead, innit? <laughs> that, that's just and what did it you is. already feel that way about him before this? Yeah, you already I, done I, enough? Never, I never really liked him. The thing is, like, for, since his first album, his third album, I've just been like, yeah, I've had enough of him. Yeah. I feel like he just hung around too long. Like, he served his purpose at the time, and now he's just waffling. And every time people aren't talking about him, he does some bullshit like that. He's just an attention seeker. And what did you think specifically of this? Was it just attention seeking? Can you see any angle whereby he might have a point that you wouldn't agree with, but you can see what he's getting at? No, you know what I mean? And the thing is, he can't see it either. Like, he's... He needs help. He's got problems. Slavery he's got is mental a choice. health problems. Yeah, they're like, slavery is a choice. That's like saying, yo, when they busted in and robbed your wife, it was a choice. Mm. Maybe she should have fought back. Mm. You know what I mean? Take her arse implant and start yeah. throwing it out. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't really know. Do you that know what I'm saying? That would be an amazing way to defend yourself, wouldn't it? I, I don't know. Do you know what I'm saying? It, it's stupid. If someone's pointing a gun at you, you don't really have a choice. Well, you do. But you, you take the sensible one, don't you? Mm. There was a lot of chains and guns involved in oh, slavery. Oh, a lot whips, of guns. as I understand it. So it wasn't, mm. you know... Um, Andy, uh, he's entitled to his opinion, some people might say, but if his opinion damages the process of, like, healing a society, then he should keep it to himself, right? I don't think he's well, to be quite honest. Mm. He doesn't seem to be well. And if he was to come out on stage shortly and, you know, dressed as Jimmy Savile <laughs> and do some kind of Jimmy Savile tribute, I don't think any of us would be surprised, would we? No, not in the least. I, well, I'd be so surprised that he knew Jimmy Savile was, but <laughs> he's got a whole team of people around him keeping yeah. him up to speed with things. India, 
Um, is he a genius musically, or is that just what we call people who make good stuff but say mad shit? I think he is potentially a genius, and I've got to say, I'm going to stick up for him a little bit, you know. I, you I think too think slavery just, was a choice. No, 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 no. Oh. Just, I, th I think Kanye is clumsy, and he doesn't always get what he means to say out in the right way. I'm going to give it, be very, very generous here and give him the benefit of the doubt. And I think what he was driving at was the fact that for 400 years, in the context of the world that he lives in, he can't understand why a particular group of people put up with it. But slavery, yeah. to, slavery to Kanye is probably not getting the right contract for his latest yeah. line of yeah. training. Kanye is record deal. Himself, if someone tried to enslave me yeah. now. I'd easily get out of it because I'll get my lawyers Which to is, deal with it. Yeah, but the thing is, this is the same guy, yeah, that said that he got a lipo because he was scared of getting teased, but he can deal with slavery and he yeah. can't yeah. deal with being called fat. Yeah. yeah. And I called him fat enough times this week. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it is what it is. If you mm. can't even take the media judging your appearance, yeah, then how are you dealing with slavery? Absolutely. He ain't dealing with it. He's a punk. Uh, thanks, panel. Coming up, a man whose middle name is Controversy. It's Ken Controversy Livingston. My middle name's Bernard, by the way. No wonder we get along. <laughs> See you in a tick. <laughs>